Good morning. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Let's go to work. As you can see, it's still sad and depressing outside. sweater weather. I'm ready for shorts and tank tops and flip flops and sundresses and green grass and green trees and life. I'm not complaining. I'm not griping. I'm just simply saying I am ready. So ready. Bring on the sun. Real quick. Um, I finished that book last night, The Silent Patient. One of you left a comment. I can't remember the name. But one of you left a comment. You've read it. And you said something along the lines of, The end is going to blow your mind. <laughs> or something like that. It's a twisted thriller, mystery, suspense thriller. And through the whole book, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out and trying to put the pieces together. And when I think I finally got the pieces put together, plot twist. <laughs> and I'm thinking, this is might be a little predictable what I think might happen in my mind and then I get to the last few chapters and all the scenarios that I put together in my mind were not at all how the book ended not at all I wasn't expecting that I saw some kind of involvement with how the story wrapped up, but I was not expecting that at all. So, if you're into a suspense thriller, um, I recommend The Silent Patient. It was on, it was this, I can't remember the author's name, but it was his first novel, book, whatever, um, and it's fiction. It's, it's not a true story, but, um, and it was one of his first books and it went to number one on the New York Times bestseller list for like, I don't know, a long time. It just shot to the top and stayed there for a while. Anyway, um, great book. He did a great job writing it. Um, it's an, it's not a hard read. It's a fairly easy read, but it'll keep you guessing. Um, but my only um, warning would be um, if you can't handle cuss words or a little bit of foul language, there's not a lot, but there is some. Um, if, if, if you don't want to if you can't handle that, don't read it. Other than that, you know, I I just step over that part, you know. And uh, so anyway, I just finished that book. Now I got to find another book. So I've got some books in my queue. So I, I've got to go back and um, look at those again. 
because I'll see I'll see books and I'll I'll read what they're about and I'll throw them in my queue and then it'll be a month or two before I get to them and I forget so I got to go back and look in my queue anyway it's time to find another book I just wanted to tell y'all about that the silent patient I have a friend Mal <laughs> Gabby this might be from you I'm not seeing I'm not seeing um, a name <laughs> it's a big box and I know um, Gabby sent me something a month or so ago and it's just now getting here so uh, it's been here it looks like for a couple weeks um, I also got another package from June that got missed so uh, this is I'm gonna assume it's from Gabby it's finally here and if this isn't from you let me know and if it's from somebody else let me know hang on my camera's not good hang on okay it's just the lighting I'll have to edit this and brighten it up a little bit okay so it's a big box and I'm looking 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 for a name to Kimberly, to Amy and Kimberly, may the angel wings hold you dearly. Kimberly, this is for both of us. I don't see a name. I bet it's Gabby's. Because she's been trying to get a package to me for two months. Hey, there's two boxes in here. And I'll dig around here and see if I can find a card. Here's some special offers, coupons. I'm not sure what all that is. But there's special offers because it came from the company. So let me find something to open this with. I need to get some new scissors to keep in my car. I need to use my keys. So I gave my P.O. box key back. So y'all, my P.O. box is not good anymore. Um, I'm not keeping it. So I quit putting it in the description of my videos a while back. So, if you have my P.O. box, go ahead and get rid of it because it's going to be going to somebody else. So, if you send me something, it won't come to me. <laughs> It'll come to whoever gets that box next. Okay. Got two of these boxes here. Gabby, I bet money these are yours. I didn't know if I... I didn't know if her name was Gaby or Gabby, but I think she said it was a long A, so I'm calling her Gaby. I think that's cute. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. my gosh looky here it's angel wings it's like a bowl and it's on a base yes. oh I love it I love it love it thank you so much look at that oh my gosh I want to put it back in the package that's gorgeous it's like a bowl an angel wing bowl but look at the detail. Oh my gosh. I'm going to assume the other box is the same. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to assume it's the same for because it's for my sister. Oh, thank you so much. That's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to set it up at home. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That's so thoughtful. Wow. 
if this, I'm going to open this, and if it's the same thing, I'm not going to pull it all the way out. We're just going to hold on to it for Kimberly for when I see her again, which I don't know when that's going to be. We talk all the time, but I don't know, you know, she's in Lubbock, so that's like uh, almost, that's a seven and a half hour drive, and that's if you're hauling and you only stop to pee once, right? So, it takes, we'll just say seven and a half, eight hours for me and Kimberly to get to each other if we're driving. Okay, yeah, this is the same thing. Gabby, thank you so, so much. If these are from you, I'm assuming they're from you. I'm, I'm about 99% sure they are. They're absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to give Kimberly hers. She's going to fall in love with it. Um, Kimberly's been collecting angels and things of that nature for years. I never got into um, collecting anything like that until mom passed away. Um, but Kimberly's always had angels around. She's absolutely going to love it as much as I do. And thank you so, so much for thinking about me and my sister. May the angel wings hold you dearly. And may they hold you dearly too. Thank you, sweet friend. And they finally got here. They finally arrived. They finally arrived. And me and her have been waiting on this. And she's like, is it, is it, this? she'd send me messages. Is it there yet? Is it there? And I'm like, I haven't got anything. I, Cause the post office will send me a text message when I get a package and lo and behold, I got another one for some random package that's been sitting there since June. So, um, anyway, I don't know what happened, but it got here and, um, Gabby's been watching me and Kimberly's channel for a long, long time. She comments on every single video and you are just precious and I appreciate you so much and thank you for thinking of us and I cannot wait to set that at my house and I know Kimberly's gonna have a come apart when she sees hers. So um, when I give her her box, I'll make sure and vlog it. And like I said, I don't know when I'm gonna see Kimberly again. Probably this summer. I probably won't see her till the summer, you guys. I don't know. I don't know yet late spring or early summer so you know we only get to see each other a couple two or three times a year um anyway okay thank you gaby um i'm gonna move along here and uh see what else today brings i'll be back to you we're out running the streets i went and picked up my man a couple hours ago went and got the back of my hair done she just cut off a little bit, charged me five bucks. Just cleaned up the back. So we've been at the Goodwill and we've been at the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Had a chicken sandwich. And then we just left the Cheapo Depot. Look what I found at the Cheapo Depot. <laughs> They're fudge covered Oreos and I can only have one. I can only have one, and then the boys are, are going to have to have the rest. Shane and Wyatt will get down. I don't know. Do you like fudge covered Oreos? I mean, it's not my immediate go to, but. But if they're there? Yeah. I kind of like that. See, I don't have to worry about stuff like this or little little Debbie's or Dolly Parton sugar cookies or brownies because I'll eat one, and then by the next day, they're gone. So, I get my little treat, everybody else has the rest, everybody's happy. So, I'm going to have one. Um, yeah, we just been out running and gunning. Shane found a bunch of t-shirts for the booth, more t-shirts, and then uh, all I got was a denim shirt. So far, and it's 4:30. So we're gonna find somewhere else to go to, I guess. I'm not ready to go home. Are you? We gotta go to UPS. Before. Oh, okay. You wanna Google the closest UPS store? No. Okay. Hmm. No bite. That's good. Okay. I gotta go. I'll be back. We're home. Let me show you all my hair real quick. We didn't touch the front. We just cut up the back. See, it's not hanging down. Can, can they see? 
Yeah, I can see. She just cleaned it up right here. So I made the decision to let it keep growing. That's where we're at. And Shanna, who you guys have met, who also does my hair, she's also letting her hair grow out. And she's had short hair since 1998. And I said, let's do it together. And we're both of the mindset that, okay, and we hugged on it and we high-fived on it. And well, we'll see how long we can both handle it. We'll see. Okay, we have a Goodwill, Metro, Merch, Cheapo Depot haul for you. And we're just gonna get started. So, Cheapo Depot, y'all already saw, we got the fudge covered Oreos and I've still only had one. I gotta go to Hot Works in the morning. And then Shane got these, a case of these, and these are, I've never heard of them, Cult Botanical Infusion Strawberry Lemon Honey Bush. It's basically like an unsweet tea. Tastes like unsweet tea. No and I was looking at the ingredients, there's like nothing in it. Filtered water, hibiscus, honey bush, whatever that is. Green ruibos. Natural flavors, pure tangerine oil. Pure tangerine oil. Full and natural stevia leaf. What's stevia leaf? It's a sweetener. Stevia is a sweetener. Well, that ain't sweet. These are not sweet. They're not great. Is it a rebuy? No. Okay. No. Just, if you see those, just pass. Unless you like unsweet tea and cold. Shane got some hers dipping Dots cookies and cream. Well, I'm not, you. I got those for you. I don't, I don't need those. Let's try them. I mean, I'll not eat that one. You'll eat them. I'll promise. Tastes like, tastes like cookies and cream cereal. It's very cereally. What's, so, what's the cookie? What's the cereal that tasted like that from the old days? Oh, that's what it tastes like. You know the the little half cookies. The cookie cereal. What was that? I don't know. That's exactly what it tastes like. Anyway, we got two bags. But have no fear. Why it's here. <laughs> He get, finished off the brownies, by the way. We came home and we're going. Gone. We got some more of these bark thins. This is dark chocolate and mint. They look pretty good. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of mint, but I like a few bites here and there. And then we got um, Oots Mini Special White Cream Covered Pretzels with Peppermint Oots Pieces. From the Oots Company. Now, I do like pepper. There's a difference between peppermint and mint. So it's like Christmassy, chocolate covered. We better have one. By the Oots company. The Oots. You like the Oots? Ootenhagen. Let's see who does this. It's sweet and salty. Shane does not like sweet and salty. Who's in charge of the Oots quality mm -hmm. foods? <laughs> Looks like they own themselves, <laughs> apparently. Good. And then we got. Thanks, Oots. These are Ming's beans. Plant-based sausage and peppers. So we haven't had any yet. <laughs> the last time we went to Cheapo Depot, we got two boxes. But Wyatt, that's all I'm gonna say. Hey. But Wyatt. Hey. <laughs> hey. If you guys like Christmas and you like pretzels, you'll probably like these. They taste like the um, what's that brand? I don't know. They're just. These are good. If you like ever. white cream colored chocolate and you like pretzels, you might like You're oops. probably going to like them. You're, you're probably going to like them. Shout out. Shout out. Anyway, we had two boxes of these from the last time we went to Cheapo Depot, but Wyatt. They had one box left. And I asked Wyatt, were they good? Because while they were gone, and he's like, yes. <laughs> so I said, Shane, let's grab the last box. You put those we'll grab right the last here. box. We still may not get any of those. But that's all right. Yeah. It's that easy food. Wyatt works outside. He's tired. So he makes quick stuff. 
So we went during the day. They get like bread from this bakery that makes all this fresh bread. And since it's all fresh, they like buy their seconds whenever it's getting towards the end of the week. Like day old bread? It, it, I think it's probably a few days old. And then they refrigerate it, but it's super cheap. Like these were, were two for a buck fifty. And that's roasted garlic focaccia. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, please let me know. A little Tuscan, nice little loaf. And then Riley loves these sourdough loaves. And we'll freeze it. We'll just throw them in the freezer. Um, that focaccia stuff, that is good. It's garlic. And you can feel how moist it is. You can. I can. Anyway, I love getting their bread. And it's good. It comes from a local um, bakery called Farrell's, which is just like right around the corner from it. Sorry, baby. No, you're good. Keep going. Well, what's next? Yes, Goodwill. Okay, so we got we went to a couple different Goodwills. Do you want all this in the freezer? Yeah, sure. They can't see my head. My head I'm going to do it. Mom, don't force it. Force it. You want to force it. That's, yeah, that's better. Okay. So we went to Goodwill. We went to a couple Goodwills today. Um, we just found out today that the last Friday of every month is 25% off. That's your town. Um, yeah, I don't, that's the way it is here in Tulsa. Um, what's that? Got it. Um, so today was 25% off, and we got quite a bit of stuff. So here we go. First thing, 99 cents. This is Spinal Tap. Thank you. If you know, you know. Love this movie. Love it. First Spinal of, Tap is about, let me guess. It's about a band called Spinal Tap, but the band is not a real band. Right. It's okay. a it's a mockumentary Mock. about like 80s music and oh my god, it's so funny. And it's I love British humor and it's all British humor and it's one of those it's one of those comedies where the more times you watch it, the more little stuff you pick up on. It's hilarious. So I saw this, I'm like that is mine. So that was all. It was 99 cents, 25% off. 74 cents, 74.3, 74.66, I guess. I don't know. Um, next thing we got is we got a red hoodie. These, are, This is stuff going in the booth. Um, by the way, who are we shouting out to? Who, who got the kiss? Shauna Brooke. Sh what? Shauna Brooke. Brooke. Sounds Shana like Brooke. Brooke. Thanks Shana for the Brooke. kiss purchase. For her um, husband, Eric. For Eric, and it went in the mail today via UPS, so... Do you have tracking for them? I do. I think it'll be there by Wednesday, but I might be lying. I'd have so, a um, sorry we dilly dallied all week with it, um, but it's in the mail. It's on the way to you. Thank you. Um, so the first thing we got red hoodie, little little British band you guys might <coughs> recognize, Def Leppard, um, leopard on the front, and down there at the bottom says High and Dry, which Let me see that. which is I think High and Dry is their second album, maybe. High and dry, second, third album, third album, I don't know, second or third. Okay. If it doesn't sell, which it will. If it doesn't will. sell in the booth, she, oh, I'll, I'll take that, and I know she will. I'm going to have it. Second. But I'm not going to have it first, I'll let him sell it. Second one, a very cool Foo Fighters shirt, found that, that's a cool little jewel right there. That is a, I so, love the blue and the van, yeah, I love that, everything that's, about it. That will sell quick, that's a good one. Um, next one, Amy found this one, and I wasn't sold on it, so let us know what you think about it. ACDC, the sweatshirt, it's a crew neck sweatshirt, and it's real, real soft. Um, 1979 World Tour. I like it. I actually like it. And what I told him is this. She said this color's big right now. It's the color. The color is good. Against the blue, Yeah. it's a good color. So it's a good selling that, and that's an extra small on that, even though that doesn't look extra small. That looks pretty good size. I should probably say sizes with these, huh? Why not? The Foo <laughs> Why not? The Foo Fighters is a medium. Um, the Def Leopard sweatshirt is and it, it's also a medium. 
Um, so I think we told you we're, we're doing the t-shirts the are 12 and I think we're going to do 16 on the sweatshirts on the hoodies maybe a little less on like the crew hats I don't know what do you guys think um, this one's very cool I was kind of on the fence about this one but it's it's Berlin um, the song that comes to mind that they sing is riding on the metro they have another oh Ber Berlin was take wasn't Berlin take my breath away I think yes. Berlin I think Berlin was take my breath away yeah it's um, okay. But I, but I'm early bro. I like early Berlin, which is a little more new wave, a little punkier before they turn pop. So that's pretty cool. Um, cool color. Why do we have a, a? I don't know. I have no idea. That's a I and that's a medium. Some that's a medium that as better? well. I, I don't know. Maybe. Um, that's better. And I can brighten it up. We got this is real cool. We got a Vans. It's a zip up hoodie, and you can see it says Vans there, and this is a large. And then it's got the V's on the sleeve, Vans. Pretty cool. Don't uh, let Alex see that. <laughs> well, it's, it's a large. Alex can't get it. Uh, can't Alex is a 3X. So, anyway. It's a big large. That, yeah, it is a big large. So, that, that's pretty cool. His torso is longer. Found that. Amy, you want to model your shirt? Yeah. So, I have one of these. You guys know my favorite denim shirt that came from his ex-wife that I absolutely love. Remember, so... My ex-wife? Yeah, so Riley, like, it's been like... Oh, she like brought stuff over or something? It's been like seven... We only had been in this house for like a year. And Riley brought me a denim shirt and she said, Mom gave me this. Mom, her, you know, her mom. And said, I don't want it. Do you want it? And I put it on and I was like, uh, yes. <laughs> and so I've been... You guys have seen it. It's like this. Well, it's a little too big now. So I found another one. Similar. And it's, it's an old navy, and it's just a denim. So with a denim shirt, there's, you know, you wear it alone, you wear it with dresses, you wear it with slacks, jeans, shorts. A, a denim shirt, you, everyone must have one. It fit her really nicely. So I haven't even seen, I put it on, I took I took my vest off and put it on in the store. I haven't seen it on, but Shane said, I put it on over this, and he said, yes, that looks good, so I'm trusting him. and. I tried on a darker denim one too, but it was it looked very uh, matronly, so we aren't doing that. Okay, is that all of Goodwill? No, there's more Goodwill. Okay, okay let's we go. have more Goodwill. Um, so this was the other Goodwill. We found Amy some little um, Asics. Love the blue. She's been looking for some Asics, or not Asics. She's been looking for some running shoes. Sorry, and I was like, well, let's just keep our eye out. And these were five bucks. Minus twenty five percent, so three seventy five, um, and they're they're a little bit. I mean, you can tell that they're they're slightly used, but they're not used a whole lot. Um, somebody has ran a little bit in them. I'm gonna wash them tomorrow, and then I'm gonna go for a two mile jaunt Sunday when the sun is out and see how I feel. See, I don't want to go longer. See how than, she does. I don't want to go longer than two miles because um, I don't want to re-injure my ankle. I don't, I don't think I told you guys, but the last few weeks my ankle was jacked up and swollen and I had to wear a brace but um, it's finally healed up and I don't want to re-injure it so we're going to hit two miles on that and see how we feel. Anyway, I'm going to wash them first. She's going to wash them first. Um, yes. she, got, she got this. Um, this is the bell of the ball tonight. She says this is the bell of the ball. Steven Tyler. She's a Steven Tyler fan. He's my he's my yeah. crush. He's my celebrity crush. So anyway, so she got that. We got her that. Yay for that. I love it. It's just to wear around the house or to hot works or I just love it. Um, we got another Def Leopard hoodie. And this one has a little leopard with sunglasses on the bottom of it. It says Rock of Ages, which as you guys know, this one has a little cut. Somebody like cut the little the little V in the neck there. I don't really think that's going to affect. It almost looks like it was like made that way, and I was like, go with it. Go I don't think it. it's going to affect the sale too much. Um, but anyway, another another cool cool sweatshirt and there. If it does, I'll have it. I mean, I'm if, the backup if, if things does, don't sell. <laughs> she'll grab it, right? This one this one isn't music related, but it's Eskimo Joe's, um, and so our booth is like music and like 80s culture 
Um, Eskimo, and Eskimo Joe's is still a big thing around here. Um, it's in Stillwater, which is where Oklahoma State is. Um, and so, yeah, and, and Joe's has been, I think it was founded in 1973, um, and it's just grown into this. It started as just a little corner bar in Stillwater, um, and then it's just grown to this huge, you, you might have seen their t-shirts before, but that's just the, the basic Eskimo Joe's t-shirt, and so I kind of thought... It's kind I of would, an OG. I would, right, exactly. It's kind of an OG um just kind of old school, and so I was like, well, that kind of fits with the 80s culture a little bit, even though it's not necessarily music related. Um, and then Amy found this one, this crew neck as well. Um, MTV tie-dyed crew neck sweatshirt, and that's cool. That was a good find, but... I'm having a real hard time not snatching it, but I won't. That was a good find. It's a meme. So, so we it's... were at Goodwill, and he's a few aisles over, and I found it, and I'm like, babe! And he said yes. Yep. <laughs> I'm real quick on yes or no yes for or the no. most part. Okay, that's Goodwill. We're going to throw all that in the washer. Okay, and you can do the other box bag. Box bag? Box bag. Okay, so we have a store called Metro. I thought it was Metro Merch, but it's Metro something. I don't know. Anyway, so what it is, it's a store with a bunch of buyout stuff. So you go in there and it's um, a bunch of stuff like from Sam's and Under Armour, Old Navy, Nike. Y'all remember the black tank top with the hot pink Under Armour that I bought last week? It came from there. Um, Metro something. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, so the it doesn't matter what you buy as far as clothes go. The first item is $7. The second item is $6. The third item is $5, and the fourth item on, everything after that is $5 in the clothes. Now, if you get shoes or housewares, those are all different prices. But as far as clothes go, that's how it works. So Shane found three pairs of shorts. So he got some blue Callaways, which is a name brand. And they're, it's brand new, so it's buyout. It's not used. So well, all don't the show them a big waist size. They're still on them. Showing them my waist size. His favorite color is also blue. Uh, it's not. His favorite color is orange, but he wears he wears blue. That's his color. And then he found these, and these are Hurleys, which is a skate skateboard, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, kiddo. Skateboard brand. So love those. And they got the little Hurley emblem right there. Woo! We need to get Alex some of those. I should find out his waist size and get him some. Christmas. Christmas. And these are fun. We found these. They have kind of a, I didn't fold those. I just threw them in there. Wyatt just woke up from a nap. Uh, we found these with a cool floral print. And these are Melreg. 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 I don't know what they are, but I like the print. Yeah, I like them too. And then look what I found for me. I just found one thing for me this time. <laughs> I've been wanting an Adidas t-shirt or sweatshirt forever. So I found one and they had one in black and they had one in gray and I was like, Shane, which one? And he said, definitely the black one. So I got me a black Adidas t-shirt. Definitely the black. Is that it? Is that everything? I think that's it. That's our, I thought we had more, but that's our haul. Okay. I think that's it. All right. I think that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I love you guys. The Lord loves you more, and we will see you in the next video.